The power of our convening um, and our position as a Global South International Women's Rights um, Organization allowed us to create a space at the regional level where um, different people, organizations and also um, activists could come together and put, um, put their thoughts together, um, express their experiences in a way that um, looks at strategizing and moving forward to enhancing women's labor rights and also enhancing women's access to justice. So we have to also look at it on a different level in terms of um, empowering movement of workers. We talked about media strategy, we also talked about source country as well as um, host country strategies. How do we uh, think about bilateral agreements? How do we put it into the agreement in terms of undocumented workers protection mechanism? What I found very special about the way that Eero is working is really targeting grassroots movements. It's really bringing marginalized women, affected women, who they are accompanying in the empowerment process, who they are providing a lot of tools and knowledge to be able to claim their rights and fight back uh, restrictive space and, and uh, fight back corporations. And what I like the most is being able to bring grassroots move movements together with UN Special Procedures, just like, you know, we had former CEDAW committee members joining us, we had the chair of the UN Working Group on Business and Human Rights, we had the committee member from the Committee on Economic, Social and Cultural Rights joining us, so being able to have grassroots movement together with those experts, hearing directly from them, it's very important. Regardless of level of involvement, always see the SDG as in, uh, goals as interconnected. I mean that you cannot talk about women's rights without talking about the education or access to education, or access to health, or access to justice, or in terms of employment. There are standards also, there's ethical codes, etc. There's laws, enough laws to protect the workers. The thing is, the implementation has issues. No, so, the, like, we have enough legislation, the Shop and Office Act, everything is there. But in the implementation, there are gaps. So something like what I said, meeting, like, demanding more targets. So that's with the employer. But that is uh, imp 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 impacting on the health, everything of the worker. So how do you deal with things like that? One key strategy is um, the empowerment of the workers themselves. It makes a tremendous difference when you have women within um, the leadership of the trade unions. Aside from improvement of the negotiating skills, I think it's also important to have representations of women in collective bargaining and in peace resolutions. Where do we eat? So, that's why we have to do one thing and we have to do one thing and we have to do bargaining power and we have to do capacity building and we have to get this awareness and we have to do this for them. बार बार उसको कैंपिंग चलानी पड़ती है एक बार या दो बार जाने से बहनों को समझ में नहीं आता गांव में लेकिन उसके लिए कैंपिंग चलानी पड़ती है आई बिलीव दैट फॉर वुमेन टू एक्सेस द राइट्स एंड जस्टिस ऑर्गेनाइजिंग इज द की ऑर्गेनाइजिंग विल हेल्प बिल्ड द कलेक्टिव बार्गेनिंग पावर the collective strength of women and help them uh, achieve their rights and justice.